day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. I've, I've, I've gotten tickets when I wasn't doing anything. Wow. That's what's crazy. But I you, got kept, you kept your attitude, though. You kept a good attitude. Pretty much. In other words, you bear some fruit. I don't mean no harm, but you did bear fruit. Yes, oh, officer. How you doing, officer? I ain't I don't do be... all that. I ain't How... yes sir, officer and all that other stuff. Well, Bill, how you want to do it? That's what he is. He's an officer of the law. Yeah, but I'm just saying, I that's that's. I, I don't I, know how you. I, I, there was one time I I was uh, going fishing. I had my boat. I was coming up Moody, coming up to uh, to uh, Russell Parkway. I was going to go get some bait. Right. It was me and my my niece's fiance. We was in the car. We was just talking. You know, having a good time in the morning, talking about what we gonna do and where we fishing and stuff. And I really didn't even know I was speed. Yes, sir. Got pulled over. I just pulled over. The cop came up, you know, and uh, and then he touches. You know, they always touch your bump. Yes, sir. To make sure, found out to make sure that there's nobody in there. Oh, really? Okay. And to leave a fingerprint on the car. Okay. You know, in case, you know, something happens. Oh, interesting. I know that. So when he came up, he touched that. And I said, before you say anything, I notice every time I get pulled over, and it's quite often, <laughs> I said, you guys always touch the bumper. I said, well, what's the purpose for touching the bumper? I said, I have an idea for what is it. So he told me. Okay. And so then, like you said, so I, I, I pulled you over because you, you were speeding. I said, man, I said, if I was speeding, I didn't know. I said, we was just having a good time. I said, hey, we going fishing. I was like, I really wasn't even paying attention. I don't even know if I, how fast I was going, whatever it is. I was like, it is, you know, it is what it is. I, I, and he says, man, he said, I wish I could go fishing. <laughs> but I, he said, just slow down next time and let me go. Okay. You, when that joy was on your face. Yeah, because I, 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 I haven't done fishing in a while. Uh, he said, I'm trying to go fishing. He, he related to it. He wished he'd go himself. But the point is, you showed joy. You showed one of the characteristics of the fruit. Yeah. You gave him respect, and you showed joy. Yeah. That man, was, you disarmed that man. Yeah. Both said, both said, look, what the hell are you pulling me over for? I ain't did nothing wrong. I don't yeah. think I was speeding. No. no. That's, I think what I think what we read though uh, gave us a blueprint of pressing forward, not to judge people. Do what he tells us to do in his word. See confidence in the word and know you're operating under his authority. Yeah, I tell and you. You're operating under the authority, not of God. It is God, but under the Father. Yeah. The relationship, the main thing you don't want to get to heaven, I don't want to get to heaven, and and he said I don't know you. Yeah, that's a tough one, man. That was tough when I when. And I'm concerned about all those people that have been taught to hate. There's people, hey, look, white people that you're there, you're listening. Black people, if you're there, you listen. Because both of y'all sometimes teach each other to hate one another. God said that there's no. There's no, uh, there's no, he said, I don't know you. Because there's no, if you got hate in your heart, there is no eternal life abiding in you. That's, I was, I was brought up that way, you know. And, uh, it's, it's, I, I, that dude is buried and gone. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, it, it still, it still comes up, it rises up, you know. But you move from glory to glory. We all are moving from glory to glory. Yeah. You know? And we got to love I, it. I, I tell you, it's, it's, uh, it's get to the point to where I'm, 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 I'm almost always a glory to God. I mean, there's nothing, nothing that I can boast about 
but I mean, spirit is really working with me to deal with the spirit. The spirit, yes, person, sir. not to deal with the person. Come on. Uh, I think this it's in uh, Colossians, where or Paul is talking about. You know, uh, I don't know Jesus by the flesh. I know him by the spirit. spirit um, yeah. Uh-huh. You know, and so, uh, and so, and because of that, we can know Jesus and have a better relationship than the disciples. Exactly. Did because you, you know they, they, you know they got they had to, they had to witness his humanity, his his human self. You know, exactly. yeah. him wash, had needing to be washed, him smelling. Uh-huh. You yes, know sir. him, him, him hungry. You know, and 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 whatever else that your human nature brings. You know, just the the, the fact that he had to clean himself. Yes, sir. And, and and you know he smelled and stuff, so they had to to see all that. Yes, the sir. Human part. Of it. Yes, sir. We just know the glory of him. Come on now. You know, knowing oh, the relationship we have is just straight spiritual you know and, and it's 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 deep and they weren't born again no that's the whole point the holy spirit didn't come on no good across that the holy spirit breathed he did breathe the holy spirit on them yeah but it was just it was just a covering yeah but the heart was different hey before you go i think you should read this last one for me it's one slide and then we can pick it up on sunday okay but we wanted to make sure that how this man got it is how we need to get it. Jesus talked about this man right here. And and I think you can relate to it. I know you can, I can. But I don't think we really put it to heart of understanding the power of authority. There it is, buddy. Faith of the centurion, yes. Matthew 8, 5. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou should have come under the roof, under my roof, but speak the word only and my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go, and he go, and to another come, and he cometh. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said unto the, to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found a great, so, so great faith, no, not even, not in, in Israel. No, no, all no. Israel. He, he, he basically said that, that that man got it. Not only say he got it, he said that's strong faith. Well, I, you know, when I when I look at this, I don't think that soldier was operating in faith. He just understood authority. Well, let's understand he did, but let's understand faith does inspire authority. Authority inspires faith in a leader. But, well, it's just. When a soldier, when you, you know, when you had people under you, right? You were a mechanic. Matter of fact, you can come fix, try to fix up why my lawnmower don't work too, but it don't work. Right, yeah. lawnmower? Maybe you can take a look at it and see why it doesn't. I don't know how to, uh, <laughs> I just jumped in something, right? I don't know how to trace the wire to find out where the, is it the starter? Or is that cylinder switch? You know, I need to figure out why I can't get the power. Is my point. Okay. And then, so you got small engine, you know, expertise. Maybe just you can just look at it and, and <laughs> just see. You know, yeah. I'll bring it to you. I, I, look, I can bring you not the ride line more, but right now I got a problem with my uh, weed eater. I don't know why it won't start. I think I put the wrong gas in it. You know. Uh, um, that's, that's, that's a good it, reason. It started, Miracle gives us, uh, uh, it's a brand new weed eater. 
Brand new. I know. Yeah, I, I emptied the other one out, but, I, 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 but that's another story. But I think it needed the fuel. It started yesterday for a moment. And then it cut off and went start again. So I can put a new spark plug in it next time and see what happens. But I put fresh gas in it and it, it started and then it wouldn't start up again. Something is missed, something is wrong. Man, you know, I, go ahead. I can tell you this. All that gas stuff, man, you need to just get leave it alone. <laughs> that ain't right, ain't it? I mean, right. Man, yeah, there's just too technology is, is too advanced for you to be doing them gas stuff, pulling on that cord. Is, and, is, it, is it possible that the heat mess up the gas? Not necessarily. Okay. okay. Guess not. I got a car that starts, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, what would you get ready to say? I, I, that was a rabbit trail, sorry. But, uh, I, I forgot. I, 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 you you about got this? me on. Okay, and that's my fault. And maybe there's a tip for that because I think we should bring it up on Sunday in one of the slides. Yeah. But the point is that we need to understand the authority. And what's talking about the fact is that leadership inspires faith in your soldier. Oh, we were talking about this tree, yeah. You okay, know, yeah, but, but we can talk about that. At, at another time, I, I, I just think that he just because he 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 recognized Jesus' authority that he knew that if he just spoke, yeah, right. In other words, I agree. That's what I'm saying is that speak the word only. God gave us His word through Jesus. Speak the word only when you're ministering in love. But I'm saying is that the, that the centurion knows that when I tell you, when you was in the military, yeah. you was given orders. Yeah. That guy don't need to watch you do it. Yeah. He gave you orders. And that and that and that is a good lesson to learn about faith. About faith. Because yeah. you 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 just believe that it's gonna happen because you have been given the authority. You've been given authority and you spoke it. And you know, even if it's in writing, but like your orders to move from one place to the next. They yeah. ain't gotta worry about it. What is it? You pour it no later there. Yeah. <laughs> those those technical orders. <laughs> those are like the president speaking. You Come know, on, the one brother. that tells you what to do and how to do when you're doing maintenance on the aircraft. You can't you can't have your your boss can't tell you to do wrong do something different. Exactly. The commander can't tell you to do something different. He can Come tell on. you. Come on. Hey, look, that's what well, that was the mistake that Adam and Eve had. Yeah. I told he said, I told you. Did you look what he said? Did you eat? Who told you it was naked? First of all, who, yeah. who, who who told you it was naked? And then he said, preceded after that and said, did you eat out of it from that tree that I, he said, did I command you not to eat up? <laughs> See? Yeah. So that, he said that's the tree and got it. So prayers out and we'll be good to go for next uh, Sunday. Amen. Amen. Well, Father, we truly, truly thank you again. We thank you for this in season word. Thank you that you are always here in the midst of us, Father. We thank you for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding that you've given us. Yes, Lord. We, we thank you that this shall take root and manifest fruit. Mm. Woo. Father, we, we look not for those things that are of this world, but we try to move toward your kingdom and your, your desire for us here in this place. Yes. As ambassadors from heaven, Father God. Mm. And so we just truly want to perfect ourselves so that we're doing your will, your will on. Your will on. We know that we are in this world, but not of it. Come on, to brother. To guide us while we're here, Father. Woo! So we want you to speak to us with all clarity, mm. with all simplicity, so that we will have an understanding. Yes. Respect our path, and we shall go, Father. We truly, truly love you, and we give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. The authority of your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. amen. Hey, enjoy the rest of the week, and then we got a long weekend. 
You know? Yeah. Hey, some of y'all may be at the beach and dial in from the beach. Got a phone, hey? <laughs> I will be in here. Hey, <laughs> Yeah. Hey, y'all be safe, y'all. All right. All Don't right. forget to holler, holler at me. You right. got my number, Elder. Just give me a call. Okay, we'll do it. Hey, what about me getting you to fix?